Hugo is one of those nicely raised animals whose owners know exactly what to do and their dog answers a call of nature. At the moment, unless the pets are caught in the act, so to speak, there's no way of tracking down the offenders. That could be about to change. All we do when we're taking a, a DNA sample, and it doesn't hurt at all or anything like that. Hugo is registering his DNA. The idea is that should he be falsely accused of fouling, he can prove his innocence. To his vet, anything that can help clear up what's left behind is a positive step forward. I'm certainly frustrated by the number of people who go to the, the trouble of bagging it and then putting it in a tree. Uh, we have an old saying in veterinary science that there is no such thing as a dog poo fairy. You know, it's ultimately down to you as an individual to, to pick up after your dog. Keep Britain Tidy is running a campaign to deter irresponsible owners. These are used for uh, collecting any offending mess. But according to the man behind the introduction of DNA testing in the UK, local councils would play a key role. If you are exercising your dog on a, a sports field or a canal path or a beach, then a condition can be set that if you're exercising a your dog, then you must have your dog DNA registered so that in the event that offending mess is, is left behind, that can quite simply be, be traced back. Who's that? Hugo's owner suspects he's one of thousands of people who feel let down by less responsible dog walkers. I have spoken to people a number of times and you never know how they're going to react, so I always approach it fairly low key and say, uh, look, would you like to borrow a bag? I've got one here you can use if you'd like to. And most of the time they go, oh yeah, thank you very much. And when you've seen somebody leave the dog uh, and let the dog mess on the pavement, they mostly tend to be a bit embarrassed by the fact that somebody's seen them. The dog DNA test kits have already taken off in some countries. Makers say their products are less about punishing the guilty than protecting the innocent from being wrongly caught out after their dogs are caught short. Mike McCarthy, Sky News.